So we had a quick question on, we basically have a navigation. How do I make sure that as we go to different breakpoints that our elements don't start running into one another? It's a really good question, and especially with the default editor X, we don't have the actual rules that we need in place or the structure in place to actually keep this from happening. So let's talk about what we need to have. So first off, what we need to do in general when it comes to responsiveness is to set up grids. This is adding structure or framework to our website which makes it follow rules. So first thing that we will do is we're going to apply a grid to our navigation here. And what I like to do is I kind of, for each element that I want to have space, I basically create its own column or grid for it. So I'm going to do a 3 by one here. I'm going to hit apply. And what I want to do is it kind of already does it for me. Each one of these elements is inside of a grid cell. Now, this menu is a little bit far reaching over. It starts dives in it dives into more than one cell here. If I control Z, how I can tell that is one, it's overarching or overreaching over two grid cells. And if I go into my inspector, it shows me that the location of the grid or the element in grid cells is within these two. I just want it in one. So I can either manually pull it in or just go ahead and go in here into the inspector panel and click the grid cell I want it to be in. So now if we start to already, if we start to pull these together, now of course when we come down here we have a, men a hamburger menu that pops up and we're going to have to deal with this later or actually right now. So if we click on this now that we have our grid cells, we have our framework here, right? And right now the menu is in the first grid cell. We want it over here in the right. We're going to go back down to mobile here, and we're actually, for this search bar, we are going to make this puppy super small, or maybe we could just, you know, close it all together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make this super tiny. I'm going to go and select my hamburger menu, and I'm going to pull this over into my grid cell, the furthest right, and my logo here, I can make some adjustments. Here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to add some margin to the logo. I'm going to maybe add about 10 pixels to the left. Just adding spacing. 10 pixels. There we go. 10 pixels to the left. 10 pixels to the right. And I can do whatever I want with my search bar. I can do pretty much the same. Let's just say 10 pixels, 10 pixels from the right and left, and there we go. So now we have our logo, our search bar, and our main menu, or our hamburger menu. And as we start pulling this, as you can see, now our menus, our logo, and our search bar kind of stay to themselves, and they do not overlap, okay? They stay within our grid rules. Basically, these are containers or cells in which our elements stay within, and we've also set parameters, basically making it so that our logo will always stay 10 pixels to the left, because it's docked to the left. That's where it will stay in mobile, or at least try to. Same thing here. We have our menu docked to the right. It will always be 30 pixels pushed to the left from the right side and we have our search bar it will be docked to the left and right as you see we're pulling this out here it is staying to the left and right of this cell it's within if we actually want to keep it in the center we could totally do that just keep it centered here so now that search bar will stay in the center of that cell the entire time so ladies and gentlemen that is how you deal with a responsive header or navigation and i hope this was helpful and of course if you don't want a really quick responsive snap like this rather than having a specific pixel width what you can do is have a percentage here so I'm going to go ahead and set this to percentage and the only reason it is snapping is because we also want to set this to a hundred percent here okay there we go a little bit smoother there we have it. So ladies and gentlemen, if this helped you, please do not forget to like this video, hit the like button, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on more EditorX tips and tricks on this channel. Take it easy and have a great day, and don't forget to join our Discord, link in the description. Have a good one.